Good evening. Welcome. Happy Easter again. And we're going to take a look at the Pop! OS, uh, the testing version, beta version, I guess they're calling it that. Uh, Pop! OS uh, 18.04, of course, this is based off Ubuntu's uh, GNOME desktop. And I thought we would uh, take a little look at this for this evening. And I hope everybody had a terrific Easter Sunday if you celebrate that kind of holiday. If you don't, well, happy holiday anyway. How's everybody doing? If you'd like to stop by and say hello, please do. And uh, we'll be taking a look at this uh, shortly. I'm actually running this off the USB stick, uh, bootable USB for Pop! OS. And uh, it's not too bad, not too shabby, not at all. Yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed. This feels faster, quicker uh, than Ubuntu's version uh, of 18.04. So tonight, a quick look at Pop! OS testing uh, 18.04 from System76. All right, everything looks good on my end. Let's see, looks good there. The live chat is, yes, it is working. Hi, Lamer. Good evening. And these windows work differently in GNOME. I gotta get used to this. Um, okay, looks good there. DistroTube is in the house. Welcome, DT. How are you? Okay, let's uh, let's see if screen share will work off the USB drive. Let's do that. Okay. I think the screen sharing is working. Let me know if that's working for you guys. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay. So, uh, Chris, can you see now? Looking good on my end. You can see the desktop. Okay, cool, cool. All right, we'll give this a few minutes. Um, see if anybody else will jump on. Yeah, I had to do a little bit more work on my son's car. He lost his in, uh, his his uh, inside lights, his courtesy lights, dome lights, whatever they're called. Uh, blown fuse. Had to replace the fuse and the under the hood. Uh, I think they call it under hood light uh, for his SUV. So it didn't take long, about an hour, and. Um, all done. All good. So, only thing I don't like tomorrow, we might get as much as three inches of snow, which is ridiculous. Talk about an April Fool's uh, joke. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, it, ugh. it's a family channel, so I can't say what I want to say. <laughs> Hello, Highland. Um, anyway. Ah, all right. So, looking good here. You spent the day trying to set up Lubuntu. Well, DT Lubuntu is a very nice, super fast distro. I even thought about installing that. Uh, it might be a little bit too light for beginners, but uh, yeah, it's you know what? It's fast. It's reliable. I tested it. I like it. Uh, but if you're looking for pure speed, and then uh, customize it to your liking I would say sure you know obviously you know how to customize things yeah I like I said I even thought about it uh, but I decided to uh, continue testing Ubuntu 18.04 and um, anyway Highland do you have a cat Oh, I see the I see the kitty cat there. Yeah, mm-hmm. I see a little white kitty cat. Cool. Uh, yes, yes. I understand you are a speed freak. I completely understand. That's why I can never see you using uh, GNOME. Um, I like speed. I want stability first because what good is speed if you have no stability, right? Again. Here's, here's Toss's law to Linux, it based on three S's. Number one, stability. Of course, that's true if you're running Windows or whatever, right? Number one is stability. The second S is speed. Third S, probably special looks. Customizations, 
you know, tweaking, blah, blah, blah. Hello, Muddy, four times four gamer. How, oh, how are you? How, how, how are you? Uh, he says, uh, Muddy uh, says, hello, sir. Would you say Ubuntu is better than Windows 10? I mean, I know it goes both ways, but his terms is more secure. Just want another opinion. Okay. There's been a lot of talk about this. So in terms of um, privacy, I'd go with Linux. However, once you get on the web, there is no privacy. It might, I hate to say that, but just so it doesn't matter what you use. If we're talking privacy, Linux. If we're talking security, uh, if you maintain, if you maintain Windows, as in, you know, run all the updates. Of course, that's true in Linux. If you maintain Windows with antivirus, you know, anti-spyware, it is secure. It's, however, it's more work to maintain Windows to keep it secure. I'm not saying privacy. Let's not confuse privacy with security. Okay, secure. To me, security means, you know, no viruses. You know, uh, rootkits, spyware. Obviously, Linux wins. But however, Windows 10, Windows 10, if you maintain it like I do, it is secure. Yeah, generally, you you, you may not put. Uh, you may not put security in the same set when you read the licensing yeah 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 that thing is that is true that is true but once again DT once you get on the web the web makes Windows 10 security look like Mickey Mouse compared to lack of security on the web DT in my opinion in fact they should just change it instead of www.abc or whatever Get rid of that. It's spynet dot then where you want to go. Because that's the reality. I, I don't care what you use. It should not be that way. It's wrong. We're all being taken for a spy ride. Sounds like a movie. Coming soon. Spy ride. Starring Sylvester Stallone. Uh, in terms of privacy, you really can beat Linux. Uh, security. Well, once you get on the web, it doesn't matter. Anyway, Muddy, I hope that answers your question. Okay? Um, <clears throat> if I had to pick one, I'd go with Linux. I'd go with Ubuntu. Or Ubuntu, Ubuntu MX17.1, Ubuntu Mate in general. But once you get on the web, all bets are off when it comes to privacy. Okay? So, so DT, what would you really think of Windows 10 today? <laughs> I got the impression you probably will not be keeping it. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yeah. Already deleted it. Okay. Well, you have choices today. Ten years ago, you didn't. You did not have choices as a window. You didn't have true legitimate choices when it came to something to replace windows it just wasn't there but a lot has changed they have good choices like pop os i think it'd be nice this seems to run faster uh, than the ubuntu's version of gnome for whatever reason linux mint peppermint os you know linux in general when you look at the whole paradigm of the whole universe of linux it's not easy because linux is the there's a lot to learn in general when it comes to linux you know it's on gps's cars the space station servers linux in general is not easy specific linux distributions can be easy and i, I have to highlight the word specific linux distributions can be easy um, anyway, you actually had a couple of nice few message email for me, Windows keys. Ah, I wanted to use it long term. Well, just like Linux, the only true way to review a DT is to run it, you know, at least a couple of weeks. Um, once you, if you had done that with all the updates, maintaining it, try gaming. I think it's something that you might like in spite of the privacy issue, but again, once you get on the web with Linux or with Windows, it doesn't matter. You're never going to run Windows. Okay, all right, fair enough. Yeah, right now I only use Windows when I have to. 
It is my backup operating system. That's how good some Linux has gotten over the years. When it comes to gaming, I pretty much stick with Windows. Um, yeah, I'll do some gaming in Linux, but let's let's face it, you want gaming, just go to Windows and don't 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 let anybody kid you. So Steven Steven Anderson, welcome to tonight's stream. Yeah, yeah, you can't change the settings, you'll have a watermark. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that is true when it comes to Windows 10. I think the last really solid great Windows was probably Windows 7, in my opinion. Uh, so let's see. All right, let's give this another. This time is off, by the way. It's not 127. I don't have this installed. It's uh, what time is it? The correct time, Eastern Time, is 927, not 127. Yeah. I'm not going to do another six hour show tonight. Forget about it. Analog IDC, how are you? Website startup Dialcom. I don't know what that is. Chase! Or just buy a console, a gaming console? Sure. Yeah. So Ubuntu is more stable, as you say, but like my concern is I hate Windows 10 pushing updates. Uh, Ubuntu is more stable. Uh, uh, the LTSs, yeah. Uh, although the beta I've been testing is seems stable to me. But to be sure, wait till the latest Ubuntu is finalized. And I think you should be okay. Yeah, I think you should be okay. No, you don't have to go go to Linux. If you're happy with Windows 10 as a whole, yeah. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. All right, so this is System76, and I'm not being sponsored by them or anything, but they, are, they have computers built in the States. Um, you know, laptops, desktops. Uh, servers, you have choices. Um, Brian Lunduk, a popular Linuxer YouTuber, uses only System76. Um, and I trust his word, even though he was being sponsored. Muddy Gaming, yes. If you really, really like gaming, you can try it in Linux, but you probably have issues. You should not have any issues in Windows 10. Uh, that is not true. You cannot do everything on Linux that you can do on Windows. That is not entirely accurate in my opinion. You can do a lot, maybe up to 99%. Uh, but some people need specific software uh, and, you all, and they can only use Windows. Can you do a lot? Yeah. Can you do everything? No, that's just not true. Um, Chase, hi. Thinking about buying the system set. Yeah, they have lots of... Uh, I was hoping to do an interview with somebody from System76 uh, was it before the holidays last year? And we just couldn't get our uh, our schedules. 96 CPU cores for this one. Woo, okay. Omega Beast. Welcome. You cannot do everything you can do in Linux on Windows. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, all I can say is if you've been using Windows, try the, try, try the newbie friendly versions of Linux. Uh, you know, my favorite is Ubuntu Mate, a Linux Mint is fine too. Zorn OS Lite, Peppermint, MX17.1, there may be a few others. One of those may be all you need, I don't know. Uh, you know, Linux continues to have issues with uh, video drivers, graphics drivers, may or may not work, screen tearing, stuff like that. Um, and there are some things uh, that I can't hook up in Linux. I can't update my iPad. I can't hook up my uh, Microsoft Zune MP3 player. I even sometimes have issues with my Android phone of all things. I mean, I got it to work. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Analog says you can't spend 100, 200 bucks to change your wallpaper on Linux. That is true. Okay, all righty. All right, so this is, again, this is System76. I'm giving them a plug. Why not? So these are your choices uh, here. 
desktops. This is pretty stable off, off, a, off a bootable USB stick. I'm impressed. Uh, I was trying to test, uh, somebody wanted me to test Symbi, I think it's SymbiOS, Portuguese uh, made version. I had, I, had, I had issues on the USB. So whoever wanted me to try it, I, I tried, but I kind of lost patience. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, you got Zoom on Solus. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, so this is Pop OS. All right. So they believe the computer operating system are the most powerful and versatile tools ever created. We're building an OS for the software developer, maker, and computer science professional. Okay. I won't read all of it, but let's go here. Imagine the future of automation. Uh, let's see, what else here? Imagine development as a first-class citizen. Very well. Uh, let's see, what else we have here? Imagine workflow streamlined. Pop OS gets out of, out of your way. I'm not so sure about that. You know, I don't know, DT, what do you think about getting out of your way? I think, I think the menu, the panel and menu system drop down uh, you know, I think you use Openbox uh, or, you know, Window Manager, but, you know, Ubuntu Mate, Linux Mint Mate, XFCE, Permanent OS, I think the workflow is better than that, but that's just my opinion. Um, yeah, what they're showing here is not my favorite type of workflow, but just, again, that is my opinion. Um, workspaces, window snapping, keyboard navigation, Imagine a more intelligent world. World. We, we don't have to imagine it because the intelligent world is right here in the community, the friendly Linux slash Windows community, right? Uh, let's see what else we have. <laughs> yeah, DT says you hate the no, no workflow makes no sense to me. I don't hate it. It's really not for me. This is not something I could use every day. I, I mean, I, I think it looks slick. Ubuntu 18.04 for beta, uh, hats off, it's quite stable, but it's, yeah, it's not for me. Yeah, the way these are, these um, apps, anyway, yeah, view apps, add favorites, add to favorites, okay, all right. Imagine discovery, accelerate, accelerate your potential with Pop! OS. Discover what's possible at the crossro crossroads of IoT and AI, calculate the size of the stars or path to Mars, yes. Anyway, um, this feels lighter than Ubuntu. Now, I downloaded the testing version. And let's see. So, uh, a new installer experience, full disk encryption, USB flashing utility. Uh, let's see. Dual booting setups are not currently supported. Now, bear that in mind. If you use Windows, you cannot dual boot with this yet but the final installer release will have that capability, it seems. Uh, let's see here, are some issues, the usual stuff. Connect live at chat.pop-os.org. Uh, buddy says, so you said the Ubuntu 1710 is a good copy to run. I read security updates. Yeah, you can run, that's being supported for another three months. Uh, if you want to do that, it's fine. I would wait till the 18.04 if final is released at the end of the month and install that. That's what I would do. Yeah. Um, I would I would wait. You can install 17.10 and then run run the upgrade manager uh, through a terminal or through Synaptic. I do believe if you wanted to, but then you'd be doing two installations. Uh, it's safe. I've done it. It takes a long time doing it that way. But if you don't want to wait or impatient, you can install 1710 is stable, as far as I know, and you should be okay. Yeah, Lamer and uh, don't mind though, but install extensions. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Uh, but this feels quite this version of GNOME or Ubuntu feels quite light. Let me um. Uh, let's go to download here. Now this is kind of interesting. Take a look at this here. You can download the Intel AMD version. I've never seen this. Or you can download the NVIDIA version, depending on what graphics you have, to avoid issues. Isn't that terrific? Once again, download Intel AMD or download NVIDIA. 100% thumbs up from a Windows user to Pop! OS 
for eliminating, hopefully, the guesswork to install a Linux OS. Awesome. File size, you can, of course, check to make sure you check to make sure that the download is not corrupted. MD5 or SHA-256 requirements. They do recommend two gigs of RAM. Uh, more is better, obviously. Uh, 16 gigabyte, 64 bit only. And there's some NVIDIA ISO notes. Uh, installs proprietary driver for NVIDIA. Does not work with Optimus. Uh, use the Intel AMD download. Ah, cannot be used on secure boot systems. Disable secure boot. Okay. Anyway, two versions. Very, very newbie friendly or user friendly for this. So hats off to um, Pop OS. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, so far, no crashes. Um, you can hit the super key, and this is your workflow. And this is what I personally don't like. I know, DT, you mentioned it, but I mean, it looks cool, sort of, but I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely different. Hi, Ben. Okay, so let's see. So we looked at Pop OS. We, we can get out of that. Uh, okay, we'll bookmark that. I guess I gotta go back. Um, okay. So right click, minimize. Okay, so this is the, the uh, default desktop. The default wallpaper, I don't get this. <laughs> this is just silly. Unleash your potential. Looks like a robot and that looks like the moon there. I mean, the default wallpaper is really quite ugly. Sorry, Pop OS. Right click, change background. Settings is ready. Why, thank you. Let's go to, let's pick some different. Yeah, I don't like that. Default wallpaper is aw is awful. Uh, let's see, lots of colors. Uh, this looks interesting. Try that. Hmm, that looks cool. Some kind of uh, outdoorsy tunnel, semi-tunnel, cool. Um, anyway, all right, so this is default for a uh, GNOME type of desktop, a single panel at the top. You, you can't right click and do anything as you can with other distros, which I don't like. This here to the right, this is this has always been somewhat silly for me. You have four icons. You would think it'd be four shortcuts, but it doesn't matter what you click, it goes to the same drop down menu, which doesn't make sense to me. I don't like this part personally. I mean it's not hard or anything. I just uh DT says the problem with hitting super to bring up the menu is that if I'm going to use the key, I'm just going to go ahead and set key bindings. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Um Anyway, since we're on that note, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So again, it, it no matter what you hit up here, you got to do multiple clicks, which I, I don't get that. So we'll go to self-explanatory wire connection, live user setting, um, half moon there, <laughs> probably put you sleep and power and all right, let's go to settings. Uh, it says, what is the purpose of Pop OS uh, to be faster than the other gnomes? Maybe lamer? I don't know. All right, so Wi-Fi, and again, this is running pretty fast off a of USB. This is not, not not an install. Background, notifications. Okay, I like the default colors, the oranges and the stuff. It's it's different. It, it's it's cheerful. It's summerish. Um, so, again, this just strictly my opinion. Region, universal language, online accounts, multiple accounts. Maybe one day we'll talk about online services, cloud services, uh, the dreaded Facebook. <laughs> privacy. If I would want privacy location services, I would leave off. History and usage, usage I would leave off. Purse, purge trash, and temporary files. I'll probably click that on. Yeah, we'll do that. Problem reporting, uh, yeah, we can leave that on, why not? Okay, sharing. 
I don't share sound. Pretty basic stuff. Output. There's my mic. Nice meter. I like the colors. This teal color is pretty cool. Sound effects and applications. Very good. Okay, power. All right, the usual here. Network. I'll set up devices. Okay, keyboard, mouse, printers, adder printer, removable. Select how media should be handled. CD audio, ask what to do or whatever. DVD video, same thing. Music player, photos. Okay, all right, fair enough. Tablet, color. Go back. And details. And that's Pop OS 18.04 LTS. Testing. Date and time. Users. You can add a user. And okay, Gigan, have a good night. Yeah. Keegan, yeah. And Firefox, Geary, Calendar, Videos, default applications as you see here. Yeah, I don't it's it's saying no Wi Fi adapters. Yes, to this particular desktop does not have a Wi-Fi adapter. So this is all correct. So really no issues here, just basic stuff that you've seen before, more than likely. Hey, Cobalt, how are you? Test speakers in my earpiece. Yeah, it's saying front and right and all that. So OK, you can right click and close. Well, with here, with this now, it's telling me I have Chrome web browser and again you hit activity this is what pops up these are the shortcuts favorites as you see here you can also hit the super key smooth I don't see any hiccups here so this is okay and as far as what's installed it's pretty fairly sparse uh, just just something to get you started calculator calendar chrome chromium I installed through pop the pop shop We'll take a look at that. Contacts, files. Zoom in, zoom out, A to Z, show hidden files. Pretty basic stuff. Um, yeah, yes, Omega B. I am Italian. Hey, I need the iPhone. You need iPhone. <laughs> I am Italian, yes. From New York. You see what I'm saying there? Pally. Hey. And again, basic stuff here. Okay, so I'll hit the super key again. Again, smooth transition. Go back to this. Firefox, Geary, Gparted, install Pop OS, Office, the Pop Shop, the Settings, System, Terminal, Weather. Uh, the weather, I believe, does work. Let's try Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and a simple weather forecast app. I would prefer something with more detail. Um, I'm not sure how to change this to Fahrenheit. Um, right click. Yeah, it's not in, very intuitive to change this to Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. So um, anyway, let's get out of that. But it does work. All right, super key again. Workspaces. Again, this is running pretty smooth. Um, it might be different as a full install. Search bar at the top. Type in Fire. Firefox comes up. Let's take a look at the Pop Shop. I like the name Pop Shop. And yeah, fetching updates again. I haven't installed this as far as repositories, and that's re repositories with an R. <laughs> Just it's an R, not an S. <laughs> oh man, common joke, I suppose. Okay, so again, this is by category. This is a different take on the Ubuntu Software Center, whatever it's called now, GNOME Software Center. I'm not really sure. You can search here. <clears throat> you can search uh, Go to Home or Installed. 
um, pretty basic. So accessories looks like they are alphabetized. Very good. The classic menu indicator. I wonder if that works. Classic menu. Let's see if that'll work. Sounds like a GNOME extension. So DT, what's your Linux desktop for today? Are you still running Calculate? I don't know if this will actually work, uh, installing this, but let's give it a shot. Maybe, maybe not. Can't really blame it if it doesn't. Again, I'm running this off, off a USB stick, so. There's a little ball spilling there, spinning there. Open. Is it going to work? I don't know where that menu would pop up. I don't know. You might have to reboot installing something like that. No big deal. Let's go back. Let's go home again. Let's try audio. Uh, again, you can search. So I wanted to install, let's say, Audacious. Is that in the repository? Yeah, there's Audacious. Very good. All right. Let's scroll down the list here. I noticed that these fonts are a little bit too small for my taste. I want to make that bigger. I'm not sure how. Probably somewhere in the settings. That's my only gripe with this. I wear contacts and I really got to look at this on my uh, fairly small monitor. Um, otherwise, I don't have a problem with the way it looks and the problem of white space. It's not bad. All right, let's see. That was audio. Let's go into development. Uh, okay, let's see. again the fonts. Uh, ben, I won't be on long tonight, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to get off here in about ten minutes. So yeah, that's why I'm not going to do uh, any, any invites for this evening. So does Pop install the Microsoft fonts? Uh, I don't see why you couldn't install those. Uh, DT, I'm not really sure. Again, just running this off the live USB stick. Um, I'm guessing that would not be an issue. And once you do install it, do the full updates. I'm I'm sure you'll have you know, um, more options for fonts. Um, let's go back. Let's try education. It looks like, again, the, the fonts are too small, but I think you guys get the picture. Uh, video, cheese, handbrake is a good tool for transcoding, uh, Kodai, uh, let's see here. SM player I use, simple screen recorder is there. Very good. Okay, we'll go back to home. And let's go to system. Back in time, simple backup system. I don't use any kind of software to back up. Uh, Cairo Doc is nice. Let's, let's see if Cairo Doc's going to work. It's one of my favorite docs. <clears throat> Excuse me, if not my favorite doc. This works pretty good. Let's see. If I type fonts, will something come up? Fonts. Hey, there we go. It actually works, DT. Speaking of fonts, uh, all fonts. Hmm. 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 
Yeah, but how do I choose the size? Everything's... I don't know. Let's go to... What shall I pick? Shall I pick? Go to this. Will it work? Uh, let's go to that one. I don't know. Yeah, this is a bit confusing. Where's the size and numbers and all that? I don't get this. Anyway. Hmm. That is a bit confusing there. But again, maybe after installing, uh, it might work better. That's Cairo Doc. Very good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, install the FODs DT. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's minimize. Welcome to Cairo Doc. Blah, blah, blah. How do I get out of that? Okay. Okay, that was easy. Let's see. Right click, Cairo Doc. I like, I kind of like the transparency look. It's cool. We have another um, Ubuntu Mate user. Yay, Omega Beast. Awesome, awesome. Appearance, let's see. Default. Uh, medium, go big. And that drop down menu is not working there. Uh, advanced. Appearance. Desktop. Style. Behavior all. Yeah, there's a lot going here with Cairo Doc, so I like it. I don't use it all the time, but it's definitely nice. Um, can't get that to work, but that's all right. Okay, let's get out of that. So, very good. It's definitely snappy. Uh, let's just type and see how quick this is on Firefox. Let's go to uh, Linux, see what comes up. Yeah, no problem. Bring your own Linux to Windows so you can replace Windows. But a bump bump. I'm sure that's what this says. Yes, it's OS News. Yeah. Uh, the Cairo Doc config manager is confused. There's a lot going on, DT. You can choose advanced mode or simple mode. Um, I would probably go with the simple mode. It's not that difficult. There's just there's so many options, which is kind of cool in a way. It, it, it can be overwhelming. But it's definitely simpler than KDE in my opinion so yeah no but Cairo Doc if you're gonna try a doc try Cairo Doc once you get used to it it's pretty sweet um, so this works fine right click uh, let's see let's try this again Cairo Doc get more applets quick hide back to configure yeah there's a lot going on here there's no question but you have it if you click this the bottom left there's advanced mode or simple mode advanced anyway let's see type in weather see if something comes up uh, let's see nope let's go simple I like this evaporate <laughs> fade out <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh evaporate add-ons get more applets and there you go GLX doc third-party applets anyway I think you get the picture
Okay. Let's get out of that. Right click. I would like to have the three buttons here to the right. Maybe there's a way to turn that on. Um, but yeah. Theme. Hmm, lots of themes. Humanity. Uh, let's try that one. And advanced mode again. So yeah, there's there's a lot going on here, but um, in a way, it's kind of fun to play with. So that's that's glitz. It's a lot. Okay, enough of that. So terminal. LibreOffice. Overall, pretty zippy for GNOME. Of course, you don't really know for sure until you do a full install of this. Uh, it's not ready to be used as dual boot, so I can't really install this on my uh, Toshiba machine as a dual boot yet. Uh, but this is nice. This is zippy. Assuming that if I wanted to install a few extensions, assuming they would work, uh, I don't know. Don't know. But in terms of in terms of looks, it's slick. In terms of workflow, like DT says, it's yeah, it's not my favorite either. It's just not. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this something you might be able to test or live with? I don't know. But um, for GNOME, this is definitely feel. This definitely feels fast. Absolutely. You cannot get your Logitech and Microsoft Life Camp to work on Mate. Uh, really? Logitech surprised me it won't work. The Microsoft one, I don't know. Omega Beast, check the um, check Ubuntu Mate's forums. They are very, very user friendly. Um, yeah. I've been on there uh, several times. It's very nice. Um, so check out the forums. Yeah. There might be an answer there for you. So, yeah. Butamate founded by Martin Wimpress and Alan Pope. Popey. And developers. It does seem like the more extensions you install, the slower this might get. No, might get. Yes. Now this doesn't have. I don't. I don't know if it has any extensions installed. Maybe one. Uh, maybe that's why it feels faster. I'm not sure. Uh, but this workflow is just. I don't know. It's kind of slick looking, but to use it every day, I'm not sure. Tim F, hello, 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 welcome, welcome. Want to jump on, huh? Yeah, uh, Easter was nice and peaceful today. I do want to thank everybody who, um, of course, uh, DT jumped on DistroTube for my six hour, <laughs> tri six hour triathlon Friday night, the little toastathon, six hour show. Don't know if I could, wasn't sure if I could pull it off, but I did. It was a live Google Hangout. I invited about a half a dozen people, maybe. It turned out pretty good. Uh, I started about at 9, stopped at 3 a.m. in the morning. I might do that again. I might start doing the, a, a steady live show Hangout, not, not for six hours, Friday night. You know, uh, anybody who wants a chance to jump on and maybe support the channel, great. Uh, I know DT was on there. Thank you, DT, for jumping on. Um, Friday night, uh, if you guys would like to check out DT's channel, DistroTube, you can support him on Patreon. Uh, I currently no longer use Patreon. I may go back, I'm not sure. I pretty much stick with PayPal. It's just simpler and less politics involved. But um, yeah, check out DistroTube. So, and uh, this is Ubuntu Mate. This would be my first choice for beginners. And as you can see here, the hardware requirements minimum is a gig. 
versus two gigs for uh, GNOME. Recommended dual core, two gigs of RAM. Yeah, if you're going to buy a test machine to test Linux, make sure it has at least four gigs of RAM, and you can check up check out just about anything. Yeah, Total OS Friday Night Live. Maybe I should have a different name, Total OS Tonight Live, instead of Total OS Today Live. Maybe I should call that Total OS Tonight Live, instead of today. Maybe I'll do that, Lamer. Total OS Tonight Live every Friday night. How does that sound? Does it sound corny? I guess it sounds accurate, yeah. Uh, you were only there about four hours. Okay, I tapped early. Yeah, Tux Digital Studio can do those eight, nine hour streams. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like they can. Um, I was starting to fade around three. I mean, I suppose if we had a half, of, uh, towards the end, we didn't have that many people on. But if we had half a dozen people or maybe 12 people on, I may have been able to continue. Uh, yeah, but right about the five, six hour mark, is where I start to fade uh, and that's why I ended although we did have about th what three people on towards the end still uh, we had coding commander from Florida and all that but yeah that's uh, that's a lot of streaming uh, I think Brian Lunduk did a I think he did a 12-hour one um, but for him is worth it he had a he had a patreon -a -thon or whatever uh, for a, I think he was able to get between three and five thousand dollars for twelve hours work. Not bad. So I guess for him it was worth it. Uh, may, it may be a top ten. Top ten. Uh, Chris Samuel, what do you mean by a top ten? Yeah, DT. It was, it was fun. It was fun having Colin and Joe, and yeah, it was it was fun. It was my first one that way. But I may just start doing those Friday nights. We'll go from there. Um, you like Ubuntu Mate because you missed Ubuntu 10.10. Yeah, Omega, yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of people miss the old GNOME 2 look. And that's why uh, Martin Wempress was smart enough to bring it back. It just works. It's, it's not flashy out of the box. You can make it flashy. Make it flashy if you want. But it was, it's not meant to be. It's just a simple drop-down menu. You know, click and go as I like to call it, just click and, and, and go. So, um, it was a great show. Thank you. Yeah. Letterman style. Ah, Total OS Tonight, top 10. Interesting. Uh, let's see. What can we do next Friday night? I have to have a guest host. Maybe DT. Total OS Tonight, top 10 Linux... Uh, top 10 Linux distros. Uh... Top 10 Linux lies debunked. Uh, top 10 reasons the, the Linux community may be toxic. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we can do something like that. Uh, Ubuntu Mate was the longest I've been on it. Wow. Five days. Cool. Nice, Chris. Uh, Steven wants a distro light on CPU and RAM. If you're looking for a lighter than Ubuntu Mate, you can try out Lubuntu. Uh, you can try out LXLE. Um, yeah. <laughs> Top distros, Debian stable, Debian testing, Debian unstable. Uh, Debian blow my brains out. Debian, why did I do this? Debian, stop laughing. <laughs> Debian, I need another six pack. <laughs> Debian, that's it. I'm crapping out. Debian, good night. <laughs> right, DT? <laughs> I don't know why you picked Debian Unstable to do a live show. You should have known better, but hey. Yes, DT likes his, likes his excitement to have his live stream freeze up worldwide. <laughs> oh, it's all in good fun, right? It's after 10, so why don't we finish up with some news and nonsense uh, stuff. Let's go to odd news, and we'll wrap this up. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by tonight. And thank you, those of you who support the channel, as it is appreciated. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have here. 11-foot alligator pull from Florida Family Spool. So, by the way, if yeah, I give Pop OS a recommendation, at least a try. So, 
Goose attacks soldiers at Oklahoma Army Post. Ha ha. Uh, top four things to record after an accident. Interesting. Drone delivers pizzas. Okay. Uh, cyclist clings to the back of truck. That looks like fun. A cat rescue between automatic doors. Whoa. Okay. Avoiding a red light leads man to $100,000 lottery jackpot. Okay. Uh, let's see. Cougar film looking into our Oregon home. Uh, I see you. Uh, let's see. Nothing too funny on this page. Yeah, nothing there. I'm looking for something funny. Woman plays flute while undergoing brain surgery. Now that takes talent. Yeah. There's a pineapple wreck. Yummy. Here we go with food again. Stop it. Nobody say food. Enough. Uh, let's see here. Not too much funny stuff. Huh. Inventor makes 3D printer play Beethoven. That's nice. The Ubuntu minimal install. You don't need Pop! OS anymore. Okay. All right. Excel MNXP. I'm finishing up the live stream with some odd news. Yeah. Yep. If you missed any of this, you can just replay this. Uh, tree frog travels 4,200 miles with a bunch of bananas. Now that's bananas traveling that far. Ha ha. Uh, let's see. New York, New California police officer rounds up goats. Okay. Yeah, I saw this Uber driver wrong turn Strand's car on outdoor stairs. Uh, let's see. Man breaks promise to wife, wins prize, which means he doesn't have to share it. I think. All right. Nothing really overly funny with these. So, yeah. All right. So, we'll wrap this up here soon. And that's my look at... Pop! OS 18.04 featuring the colorful GNOME desktop. Nice. Uh, you thought Ubuntu 18 for no was light years better than, uh, if we're talking speed, I got to go with Pop! OS DT. If we're talking strictly speed, now in terms of, in terms of the overall feel of the distribution, without fully installing this, I can't really give a, a true, you know, review, but in terms of speed, this is definitely faster. There's no question. Um, I mean, in terms of the looks, there's not much different all thing though some fonts and colors and stuff like that but I mean it's known desktop it's it's you know it is what it is so you know but this feels zippier at least running this off a USB stick so yeah But, yeah. All right, I'm just about ready to wrap this up here. So a few more minutes, and then we'll call it a night. I don't know how to make these fonts bigger. I'm sure there's a way, but that was, uh, let me see. Let's get out of this here. All right, Highland, I'll see ya. Yep.
large text. I don't know if that'll work. That's definitely a little bit bigger. Whoa, okay. Uh, cursor size, zoom. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, that's definitely bigger font. Maybe too big, but I, I, I could definitely see that a little bit better. Um, don't know if there's a way just to make certain apps with bigger fonts instead of the whole thing, but this is definitely better. Yeah. Amarok. I haven't tried that in a while. Amarok. Beta Radio Tuner. Listen to Internet Radio of Taiwan. Yes, I'll get right to that. Um, remove Gparted live image so you can't rescue, or at least you have to install Gparted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Myth TV. Okay, let's see if anything catches my eye here. QTAV multimedia player. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, let's see if that'll work. Then we'll wrap this up. Uh, I've heard of light players, but this is very light. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit too light. I need a little bit more fatness in my media players, man. I don't know what the heck this is, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. That's, that's a little bit better. All right. Right click, pretty basic stuff here. Here we go. All right, that looks cool. Yeah. Simple. Ah, uh, there you go. There's, there's, yeah. DT and his dead beef. Clock, auto, color space. Decoder, interesting. Renderer. February 2018, so it's up to date. Okay, all right. I like SM Player, VLC. Those are pretty much the two that I use, yeah. VLC or SM Player, so. And that is my look at the latest from Pop OS. Classic menu indicator. Where would that be at, though? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to reboot to get that to work. Cairo dock. Quit. And quit. Okay, last call for comments in the chat, and we'll wrap it up. Solus installs pretty fast. Okay. Um, okay, cool. I'm all for speed. I 
like this wallpaper, the one I picked. It's different. It looks like a like a it looks like a Stargate. That's what I was trying to think of where it's it's like the movie Stargate. Um yeah. SM play for video is pretty good. Mike eleven two two two. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm just about to wrap this up, but uh, I'll catch you on the next one. I've been taking a look at the latest from System76 here in the States. This is something called Pop OS. Looks cool. It's it's the GNOME desktop. It's not, you know, my everyday use uh, in terms of a desktop environment, but this seems stable and fast and testing this off a USB stick. I think it looks fine. It's just not my type of desktop environment. I still prefer the Mate desktop, you know, with just drop down menus. Um, but yeah, that's what we've, we've been looking at tonight. And you, you can replay this, Mike, once this is done and the finish is processing. It shouldn't take too long. I uh, know if you want to catch up, but I was just commenting on the wallpaper I picked. This reminds me of a Stargate, the movie Stargate. So yeah. I like that too. All right, DT, I'll catch you on the next one. Maybe I'll catch you Friday night. Um, so, okay, well. You can create a folder. Excellent. Very good. Uh, properties, permissions, okay. Resize icons. Let's try that again. Will that work? <laughs> yep. If I was to have only one icon, that would be about the size of it. <laughs> All right, analog, thank you. <laughs> uh, man, that's just funny restore original size yeah we'll just go with that I mean my eyes aren't that bad all right guys uh, I think it was all guys no ladies on tonight. I'm pretty much done with this one so thank you tonight for stopping by those of you who watched this uh, later uh, give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't share it to support the channel if you can uh, through PayPal I also sometimes I'll post some Amazon links and a t-shirt. You can buy t-shirts off of Teespring if you so choose to. Um, let's see. Anything else uh, for tonight? Uh, not, not that I'm aware of. I don't think I'll be doing anything live Monday or Tuesday night. Might be doing a Windows Wednesday live stream. Uh, Wednesday, of course. And then maybe a live stream Thursday or Friday. Richard, hello. Yes, good night to all. Great to have you on. Peace out. Happy Easter or happy whatever day you celebrate. Um, be safe. Enjoy your technology and I'll catch you later. Take care.